<coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I have a really bad fever. I have. <coughs> <coughs> I have a really bad fever, and it's really bothering me. I, I hate it, so I won't be making that many videos. Sorry, I didn't make in the past five days. I got to make videos because I was visiting my cousin. I got this job cold, so. Sorry about that, but more videos will come, so I'm going to be doing a, a toy review, which I have not done first. I said, why not do it now? So, this one's going to be a Godzilla. This one's going to be a Godzilla toy. And for this one, we do Bandai 2004, Rodan. Well, um, history. History, um, and history... We have is that this monster here, it, um, and Godzilla Final Wars is a bad guy, an alien who wants to take over the world, so he's using mon Godzilla's asleep and everything. They're using monsters to kill him. Using monsters. So what happens is that Rodan, um, is one of the monsters they release, and others are like, others are like, um, there's, um, Angus release, King Caesar's release, Kamongo's release, other guys also, and he, fought well, they blood in them. And then, um, near the middle of it, Rodan, King Caesar, Godzilla, and Angus all fight in a big brawl. Godzilla ends up winning, but Rodan is pretty good. So, um, <clears throat> that's the history. Okay, so, for this monster, first we will do a detail. Okay, so, um, for, so for this guy, we got, I'm just aim the lights towards this area. This guy, we have the head, which is very nicely done. It looks really, really cool. Showing the muscle right there. As you can tell, the muscle is right there, and you can see the ear. It's really, really done. The eyes green, which is cool. I don't know exactly. I haven't seen the movie in forever, so I don't know exactly if his eyes are green, but that's cool. The, um, this is black, which is cool. Um, the detail on the beak are really well with the snout and the mouth is really well done. This figure has a really cool plate right here. Um, to keep it protected. That's really cool. So it reminds me of Pterodactyl, which is cool. Then it's got this really rough part right here. If you were to feel it, it's really, really rough. So we got that right there for the wings to make it move more. And then we got the hands, which are really well done. It's got the little, I don't even know, it's just got the fingers and the arm just looks really well. The wing, the back of the wings are great looking. The feet, um, the, the tail is good, but the tail is really short, which I had noticed. It could have gone a little longer, I don't exactly remember how long its tail would come out, but it's a pretty short tail. So then that's the numbers and everything. Here's the legs, back legs, make it stand up. Just for detail. And then there's the front of the legs. So that's really all for um detail. Okay, next we have colors. So for this we have the black beak, which I just told you about. Then we have this oranges color, orange color. We got black right here also. We got the yellow for this part, the the grayish yellow, the mustard yellow. And then we got the like yellow, yellow down here, which is sort of scratched out because I've had this for a while. And then it's sort of yellow, um, tannish, yellow, orange, and black. That's really all for the color. But the color is really nice. So yeah, making tons of colors is really well. And this is this is its fault. Okay, now we have to do rotations. This is its fault. So, for this rotation, it only has two rotations. You can move both the legs 360. It's sort of hard as you can tell right there, it's sort of like messed up. But you gotta be careful when you do that. And you only stand up if you stretch the legs out like this. Okay, that, that's it for rotation. Rotation is the fault. It's only got two points. But 
actually one point because it included more points. It's just not its fault, but it's it's okay. Okay, now we're gonna do superpower. So let's take. Um, here I don't like. I don't, most of my um Godzilla's at my dad's house, so for Godzilla I'll just have to use Godzilla um Godzilla 1984. So this is super. Wait, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So for this superpower, what we do is that ready? Ready? Here's the superpower. It has like a fire that comes out of its mouth, which is um. I don't know if I actually use it in the movie, but this is what it usually has. So here, here is the superpower. <laughs> okay, that's it for the superpower. Okay, now on to rotation. So this is how you really fight with this guy. So look at this, he smacks, smashes me with this like. <laughs> okay, okay, now on to um, rotations. I mean, I mean, scale. So I said I only have this Godzilla, I, I told you Godzilla 1985, 4. Wait, sorry, Godzilla 1993, sorry about that. Okay, so now, we do upscale, scale. Um, this is pretty good sizing, but I think Godzilla would be a little bit like this. If you were to, let me put it up. This is, I think it's actually like a little bit like this. Sorry if I'm not right, but this is how much like I think it is right. Okay, but it's actually down here. It's nice as well. So that's both of those guys. And oh yeah, by the way, I need to clean this guy. He's sort of dirty. Okay, next to me, because I do not have any of the god doors here with me, I'm so sorry about that. I always have to do a different monster. So for this, for fun, so they don't have, really have it. I like making these two fights with team up. So here is, um, not exactly for my Godzilla series, but Gamora. Okay, so here, put them up close. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I think this is pretty good, so he would be a little bit taller like that. But I think this is pretty good size in general. The best I could find, really. That's pretty good. They're about, I would imagine them being a little bit, he'd be a little bit up, sort of like eye to eye, sort of, but just a little bit taller. So that's it with him. Gozar. Okay, for this, this is pretty good sizing, but I I don't know I can say that, but I think it'd be a little bit taller like this. I think that'd be sort of eye to eye like this. Should be eye to eye like that. Oh yeah, no, Dan can also fly for zero power, as you guys already know. So that's that. Okay guys, I'm um, done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's Rodan. So I did not have any other figures to really put up with it. I hope you guys like the background. And I hope you guys like this toy. Um, he's pretty cool. Hope to see you guys next time. And bye bye.